Howdy Chasers! This is Chaser Craig here in San Francisco. We are here at Creator. There is a lot of buzz about this place. It is a fully automated robot burger making machine. They just recently opened. You had to get a lottery ticket prior to this to get in. But uh, here they are. Looks like they only have like five options, five types of burgers on their menu. And I'm gonna try to get some sort of a customization to get it more of our standard review burger, the bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise. We'll see how it goes. All right, creator, see if your robot can make a decent burger. All right, there it is. Burger flippers around the world are shaking in their boots. Shakes with Cory DC shredded lettuce. With the love. Hey, shredded cheese, Cory. I think we got a new thing. Buns. Pretty impressive display of ingredients here. Look at that. That's, I guess that's pre chopped. Everything's cheddar here, no American. And there's the shredded lettuce. It says spring mix over in the other bin, but that looks like romaine, shredded romaine to me. Alright, so here's the menu. They greet you at the door and they take your order via an iPhone type app. And you have a choice of a recreator, a Toonami Burger, Creator vs. the World, the Aficionado, and the Dad Burger. I got the Creator vs. the World because it seemed like it would be the, the closest to what we review. You can't, you can't get bacon. They don't have bacon here. Alright Chasers, there you go. There it is. That's what a robot burger smell looks like. Looks pretty good to me. Let's take a poke in there. It has a serious amount of shredded lettuce. Uniformly sliced pickles tomatoes, onions, and a cheese. Special sauce. They only they don't have mayonnaise. They don't have bacon. They only have cheddar. Oh that's a bit tangy that sauce. That might that might not be too good, but we'll see. Mmm. Has a unique flavor. A little on the mushy side but um, juicy. Wow, that's really well seasoned. Because of the sauce, I'm gonna I'm gonna yank some beef out of here so I can get a little unfettered taste of that. Mmm, that's really good. I would have to say maybe too much on the ingredient side though. I'm tasting too many pickles. The sauce is a little overpowering, although it is it is good tasting. It's it's kind of overpowering the burger a little bit so I'm gonna peel off some ingredients. Mm. Bun is really good, perfectly toasted, seared I should say. My term. Not crazy about the tangy sauce though. It really wasn't an option not to get it. And I wish there was just a standard mayo option. I got mixed reviews on this burger. Beef was actually pretty good. I had to strip off a little piece, give it a taste. I'm gonna yank some beef out of here so I can get a little unfettered taste of that. But the condiments kind of overpowered it a bit. The, the tangy special sauce was a little too tangy for me. If I could get mayo instead of the special sauce, I think I would really like this burger, but otherwise it was just a lot of tangy special sauce that kind of overpowered it. Uh, highlights were definitely the bun. The bun was seared. The bun is really good, perfectly toasted. Seared, I should say. I don't think you can get a better toasted bun than that. So, plus one for the machines. Very juicy, very flavorful, well seasoned. Wow, that's really well seasoned. You know, overall it was a good burger, but again, very strong on our special sauce. Oh, that's a bit tangy, that sauce. You can't vary it at all. You can't say no tangy sauce or less tangy sauce. That's where it is right now with uh, with an automated burger, I guess a robot making a burger. I'm gonna come back, um, I'm here for a little while in San Francisco, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try to taste all of them. And I'll report back, we'll add it onto this review. For now, chasers, 
come try Creator. It is worth the experience. It is, it is quite the sight to see this machine in, you know, doing its thing.